The driver of a New South Wales prison van in which an inmate died has told a coronial inquest he heard noise in the prison van like he'd never heard before, but he didn't consider pulling over to find out what was going on. Clive Bateman gave evidence today at the coronial inquest into Mark Holcroft's death in 2009. He said he assumed the banging and noise coming out of the van was because the inmates were getting bored. The other driver of the prison van, Peter Shepherd, says he was monitoring vision coming from cameras in the back of the van and he said everyone seemed to be sitting up normally. Steve Kinane reports from Wagga Wagga. 59-year-old Mark Holcroft died of a suspected heart attack in the back of a prison van in August 2009. A low security prisoner, he was being transported on a four and a half hour journey from Bathurst Jail to a prison farm near Tumbarumba. Last year, four inmates who witnessed his death spoke to Lateline about how they tried to alert the drivers that Mark Holcroft was having a heart attack. These interviews were tendered as evidence at the inquest. We were all banging and screaming, trying to, you know, let the drivers know, pull over, you know, guys, something wrong with him. Boys, stop the fucking bag, come on! We were banging all the way for 40, 50 minutes all the way to Manus. Every town we stopped at, we thought someone could be able to hear us. We were yelling, screaming, men were crying. It was just a terrible situation to be in. Today, the inquest heard for the first time from the drivers of that prison van. Clive Bateman told the court that he heard banging and yelling in the back of the van like he'd never heard before. When asked why he didn't pull the van over, Mr Bateman replied... Insecure location. I didn't think anything was wrong. Mr Bateman also told the court he thought the noise was related to boredom. I made an assumption the men were getting bored. While Clive Bateman was driving, Peter Shepherd was in the passenger seat monitoring inmates via cameras. Mr Shepherd told the court... There was nothing obvious that was showing up there was any trouble. When asked why his evidence conflicted with the inmates who described a scene of chaos, he replied... I just saw something different to what they saw. Last year, Afif Cowley told Lateline he tried signalling to the cameras. I remember I was putting sign and in, in, in putting hand sign to the cameras because this truck had four cameras, one in each corner, and in just pointing out when that person is laying down. But the court heard today only one camera in each compartment was working. Afif Cowley might have been motioning to a camera that didn't work. The inquest also heard the PA system that allows the drivers to communicate with the inmates was not operational. There was a facility for the drivers of the, of the, of the van to talk to the people in the back of the van, but that wasn't working. Uh, that wasn't functional um, and, um, and there's, no, there's no communication provided for the prisoners in the back of the van to talk to the front of the van. Next week, the coronial inquest moves to Sydney and begins hearing evidence about the medical treatment Mark Holcroft received inside the prison system in the days leading up to his death. Steve Kinane, Late Line.